when the COVID hit, they started singing. And, and you know, me and Troy and Eddie and Marlon and Mike and all the older guys, we just stuck at home. We didn't have no choice, did we, Troy? They said, stay home. It's hard to sing through a mask. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, and they wanted to go. And old Matt Dibler called me and said, there's a boy could really sing in the inspirations. Said his name's Isaac Moore. And Matt was talking about singing baritone or lead. And Matt was, his church was doing a live singing on a Friday night. And my wife said, let's tune in and see what it's like. You know, nothing was going on. I mean, we was fouled at home. I stuck with her and she stuck with me. You know, that's the way it was. We had to stay six feet apart, but that's the closest we'd been in years, Archie. Yeah. <laughs> my wife can knock me that far. <laughs> and, and, uh, and we tuned in, and I was listening, and I heard a guy singing tenor. And Troy, it blowed my mind. Well, that's it, not hard to do. But... Uh, well, it, <laughs> Go it, ahead. It, it impressed me. But uh, I got to listening, and it sounded just like me and Matt and Melton singing <laughs> inspirations. I said, Cindy, are you hearing that? Who is that guy? They sung about 45 minutes, just as hard as they could sing. And he was singing tenor, just clipping it. <laughs> and uh, when they got done, Matt said, I'm gonna introduce these boys. He said, our tenor singer, the first time he's ever sung tenor, said his name's Isaac Moore. And buddy, it, it just blew me up. I said, that's that guy that Matt said wanted to sing in the inspirations. I called him the next day and I said, son, can you help us some? He said, Mr. Watkins said, I, I can sing, go anywhere you want me to go. I said, can you go right now? And he said, yeah. And I'll tell you what he said. Don't give up on your dream. His daddy was a preacher and he said, my daddy and mama took me to Chattanooga to see the inspirations when I was six years old. You was there, Troy. <laughs> he said, when I was six years old. You're breaking and, him up, Archie. And he said, <laughs> quit talking. He said, uh, he said, my daddy bought me a baseball cap from the inspirations. He said, I've still got it. And he said, Mr. Watkins said, I've been praying since I was six years old that God let me sing in the inspiration. <laughs> now he was 18 years old and he'd been praying since he was six years old. God let him sing in the inspiration. And I said, you know what I said to him? I said, God just answered your prayer, son. If you're ready and you're willing to live right, stick with Southern gospel music and behave yourself and do right, God will use you. I didn't say nothing about me using him. I said, God will use you. And he came and they started singing. And Lord, have mercy. These four young guys have just lit it up. And I'm proud of them. They, they've sacrificed and paid the price. Let's let him sing. Hey, all right, let's do that. Are you, are you, are you able? <laughs> this will get all over you sometimes. You just can't help it. Come on, That's good, buddy. Hang it, bud. When I was six years old, I looked up on that stage in Chattanooga. And it was Archie and Matt and Melton and Mike. And to think that all these years later, the Lord would have been faithful to my prayer and let me stand on the stage next to him. It's the honor of my life. Sing 
Say 